2018 was an interesting year for YouTube. From Logan and Jake Paul going hiking and causing an adpocalypse in the first 12 hours of the new year, to PewDiePie vs. T-Series 2018 was fun. But in the depths of YouTube, a new creator came along. These Bluetooth headphones look really good. They got some super cool specs. If you have ever unboxed an Apple product, you know how premium it is. So today we're going to be talking about Jablinski Games. Yes. In fact, I was going to make a video on how I believe rappers don't belong in movies. Today we're going to be looking at the absolute most embarrassing clickbaiter on YouTube. Trusted Texan a commentary channel that has around 2,000 subscribers and almost 100,000 channel views made their first video. Hey guys, Trusted Texan here, and today I'm going to be going over the act- Now, you might have noticed that this isn't commentary. In the early days of his channel, he made tech review videos, though this first one was special. It was the first and basically last time I did a uh, video with my face and everything in it. I did not like it at all, and um, a lot of it honestly had to do, if I'm going to get kind of deep here for a second, but uh, a lot of it had to do with my own personal insecurities, because um, if I'm being honest, I've always, um, you know, kind of struggled with body image and everything else. Trusted Texan since then has only put his face in one other video, which is a channel update. As you'll see later on, this is one of the main reasons he moves to commentary. What do you, what did you think about the tech review videos? I thought at first that it was kind of weird uh, that a commentary channel had a bunch of old tech videos on it. But then when I talked to him about why they were there, I thought it was kind of cool how he just didn't care, you know, that he was switching up his content and just did what he wanted to do. You know what I mean? September 29th, 2018, Texan released his last tech review video. After a three month break, Texan uploaded again, but to many of his fans' surprise, it wasn't a tech video. At the time, Texan had a decent sized audience, and even some bigger tech channels liked his videos. Surprisingly, many of the original viewers enjoyed this different type of video and were happy he was enjoying the new style, though this video was a bit controversial and got a fair amount of hate. With the dislikes outweighing the likes, many people were not a fan of his opinion. Many would switch back to tech if they were in Texan shoes. But he didn't. Around a week later, Texan uploaded his next commentary video. This one was a lot more controversial. Infinite Wiss, a YouTuber which at the time uploaded videos like, I got chased by Pennywise the Clown, scary, and I found evil Santa in the woods, fell on Texan's radar. Clearly, this is clickbait. But to children, it seemed real, and since there are so many on the platform, well, this video got an astounding amount of hate. <laughs> a lot of children actually made videos on him, but they're not what you were thinking. I ain't done rapping or stuff, and guess what, that doesn't use back. Let's start with Bob too. with his rear turf, why is he always with why? Maybe he needs to get roasted like a fry. Okay, goodbye. Why'd I even say hi? Now let's start with trusted Texan. He ain't flexing. He is putting out his opinion to, to a person that isn't even clickbaited. He is just hated. And he's jealous. Because he only has over a thousand subs. And Infinite has over 13 million subs. I have no words. Texan continued to upload commentary videos every couple of days, though the diss track killed his career, he still decided to. Though scrolling through the comments of one of his videos, I saw a familiar face, or a sexy cartoon face. Anyways, moving on from that, Texan's channel started gaining traction, making these controversial videos, even though these videos were doing pretty well and were getting noticed by other notable commentary channels, he changed his style. Texan started uploading videos talking about how certain creators blew up, later making it a series. He changed so much that his 1,000 subscriber special, he stated that his friends called him the content changer. He also stated he would be sticking with the new style, which he didn't. But anyways, Texan continued uploading these types of videos and gained 700 subscribers in two months, which is incredible for a small creator. He also started the Things We Hate series, which is, well, about... 
well, things we hate. Though the series didn't last long because he changed his content style again. Texan started making movie review videos, and in my opinion, these are the best videos he's done, and many of his fans agreed. Though, that's where the story ends. Psych! Gotcha! Though Texan hasn't uploaded on his main channel in a year, he's been making videos pretty frequently on his second channel. Though they're not as professional as the ones on his main channel, they're definitely entertaining. Now, it's the end of the story. But, um, before I end this video, is there anything that you wanted to say about Texan? Or anything you just wanted to say in general? Texan has always been a very good friend to me. And... I think him, I, I don't know, I think that him being such a decent friend to me has helped me improve as a content creator, and so Texan, when you see this, I want to say thank you for always being awesome and being just one of my best friends. Thank you. It's really wholesome, and uh, Irish's link to his channel will be in the description if you guys want to check that out. Okay, sup Texan, this is a great video, I hope you enjoyed it. Love you, bro. Texan, I am so thankful to have you as a friend. You have helped me through the hardest time of my life, even though you have the most busy schedule ever, and I don't know where I'd be without your help, and I just want to say thank you so much, and uh, for everyone else, thank you so much for watching, and if you did enjoy, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.